step, we're actually going to display blank underlines for the letters of the random word. And so we're going to have to sort of jump about in the code to do this. From the top, let's just review. We have our import statements, our stop statement, so it stays on the first frame, and then we have our variables. I have added two new variables. We have my display, which is an array, which is going to hold letters for the display on string, on screen. The display out variable is a string, which will actually put those together and display them on screen. This will initially present users with underscores representing each blank letter, and ultimately it will add each letter that the user guesses correctly. The next step, we already had generating the random number, figuring out which word we're using, and getting the length of the word. This is a new step. It's a for statement, and it knows a for statement is used when we're looping and we know how many times. So it's creating a variable i equals zero, while i is less than word length, i plus plus. What this is going to do is for the word initially, it's going to put an underscore for each letter in the word. That's why we go through it for word length. We also will add the letter to an underscore. You'll put a space between them so we get spaces on the screen. Then we're going to go beneath our previous step where we had this with our test text. It now will equal display out. So you have some simple changes to make to the program. And if it's getting confusing, don't worry, there is a corresponding PDF printout of all the code on the website.